The shofar in the scriptures, God ordained the trumpet as a vessel of his power. At the sound of the trumpet, the armies of God triumphed. The sound of the trumpet, the walls of Jericho fell down. The enemy would flee. The power of the Jubilee was unleashed. The blessings of God would break forth. And so now we're going to sound this seven blasts, seven trumpets. And we're going to believe as we pray for, this is a sign of his power, releasing of his power. We're going to pray. We're going to believe for the breakthrough of God, of everything we have done, the blessings of heaven. Seven times. Get ready. Lift up your hands. You can stay, you can stay doing that, guys. Okay, you can come over here. Okay. The first trumpet, the unleashing of the purposes and power of God on the earth. Pray for it. Pray for it. We pray, Lord, for your power to be breaking forth on the earth, Lord, in Father, in fullness, the power of God of heaven. When you hear the sound of the shofar, then give a shout to the Lord. The second trumpet, the power of Jericho, breaking down walls, the power to break down strongholds, the power to break down idols and gods and all that is to be broken down and broken through. Pray for it. Break through. In the name of Yeshua, let all walls be broken down. The third trumpet, the power of return and repentance. Coming back, turning back, all the things we prayed about to be released, all who are falling away, back, the church, back, all back. Let's pray for it. And all who need to come back. Father, we praise you and ask the power of return. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus. and all that it means to break forth America and the world. The fifth trumpet, the power of anointing upon the people of God, you and all the people of God, the power of victory, the power of the book of Acts, to become all that God has called us to be by His Spirit, the power of the anointing. Pray for it. Lord, anoint everyone here in this National Mall and anoint everyone watching in America and everyone watching throughout the earth and let your anointing go forth. Trumpet, that which is above anything we have asked, 
the will of God beyond what we know for America, the nations, for the world, and for each of our lives, the power. And this time, when you hear it, this is God's prayer we're praying for now. When you hear the sound, let the people of God not only shout, but keep shouting. Let this be the greatest time of breakthrough. Shout as we praise the Lord. So the seventh trumpet, pray for God's will now. Father, we praise you. Let it be done. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, greater than we ask, more than we ask, more than we can imagine. Let it be so. Let it be done. Let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. In, in our lives as it is in heaven. Have your way as we pray for it, Lord. Let the will of God be unleashed. seal this <clears throat> sacred time I'm asking shofar blowers to come up come on all the way back here and if you are a shofar blower here and if you can't get up here wherever you are just don't blow the ears out of your brother or sister because that's not very Christian okay are you coming to oh you coming in for the blessing okay all right we are now do you have you ready guys you've been wanting to do this <laughs> This is about the power of God. So listen, I'm going to ask two things. They're going to, they're going to blast all at once. However many shofars we have out there, you're lifted up, but pointed upward. And we're going to go full blast the power of God all at once. And you also, people of God, you don't have a shofar, you got a voice. Shout to the Lord. Ready? And we'll just keep doing, we'll doing it for a little while. Ready, everybody? All right. From here, and Lord, we, as we seal the return and the power of God, now, Lord, let the sound of your power go forth to the world. In yet Jesus, Yeshua's name, go! For those who don't have to go home, you got an awesome night celebration, and Kevin will tell you. But now let's seal this time. We have done what God has called us to do. Be blessed in that. And again, when you go home, go with power. Go in revival. You are an agent of revival. Go in the victory of God. And let's continue to pray as, we, as, the, as God's will goes forth. So I'm now going to do the blessing that the Bible gives that God himself wrote the words to. It's the blessing that he himself said, you speak this, this is God's prayer, upon my people, and when you do, my name is going to be upon them. This goes back over 3,000 years. This is a prayer that yet the Messiah knew very clearly, and this is for you. And so this was done by the house of Aaron and his sons, the priests. That's the house I'm from, so it's always my blessing to do this. So right now I'm going to ask you, lift up your hands once more, and this is the blessing this is God. Don't take this as from man. Take it from him. It's his. This is the blessing in the language of Jesus, the language that he gave it. And, and whatever is needed, this is truly, this is not just words. God inhabits the praises and God inhabits his blessing. So I'm going to ask whatever is God's will for your life and for all those who are out for America, those who are out in the nations right now, 
I'm going to pray the blessing of God upon you going forth in the ancient language of the Bible. It was good for us to be here, amen? 